Hello guys and gals, Woman Rider here. Today I'll be changing the front uh, brake pads on these nut branded brakes on my Max 110 Pro scooter to see if I can get rid of that slight little squeak that it has. So we'll we'll see how that comes out. I got the actual uh, nut branded brakes. So. And it may even be that little pin in there because I noticed the one on those are it's kind of short and only one side is sticking out. So it, it could have something to do with it too. So looks like the pin in these I it look to be longer. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes and uh, see if it fixes our problem. So uh, let's get on with it. All right, got you up close here. So first of all, i to take that caliper off of there because there's no room between this wheel and the back side of this to pull that pin out. So don't really have a choice with, with these but to take it loose here. So let's start here. Loosen that one. Come on, get in there. In this one. And apologize for the wind noise because it is very windy again today. Sorry that last video was so, the audio was kind of distorted because of all the wind. I tried to filter it out, but it, it just made the audio sound horrible. Didn't really realize how bad it was that Gary told me, but yeah. There's, didn't sound quite as bad before I uploaded it, but that seemed to distort it even more. <sighs> but, but we'll see what we can do this time. All right. Sorry, I had a... Slight interruption. Anyway, so we got the two bolts out for that. Before I do anything else with this. Well, I can pull this off of here. I don't have any uh, good latex gloves at the moment. So but you, you don't really want to be touching the pads and the, and the rotor and stuff when you do this. So I've got these cheap crappy plastic gloves the only thing i had around here i could put on right now so yeah i gotta get me some more of the latex gloves so these i'll have to do for now see if i can turn that pin back here i don't know if you can i can't turn this really where you can see it very well but yeah, see, only one side of that pin's even holding it right now. Which I kind of questioned if that was part of it. Maybe this pin isn't long enough. Try to compare it to the one that comes in with the actual nut branded brakes here. out of here and it does not want it to come out oh yeah definitely a, a huge link difference so maybe that's part of it I don't know we'll see how uh, how these do oh that's cool and come they even had them like already tied together but yeah here's the new ones should look pretty much just like these yep looks pretty much identical put those down for now pull these out of here here's the ones that come on it see they are not nut branded these are the new ones that are nut branded other than that, they look pretty, 
much the same. So I think these are good quality too. Just, uh, I don't know, got a little squeak to them. So I'm not sure if it's the pin or if it's the pads or if it's the rotor. Seems to be a lot of variable with these brakes. Uh, like I said before in other videos, I seem to have a some kind of curse with brakes. I swear. They like to squeak for me. Alright, before I do that, not that these are worn enough that I should even need to do this, but use my uh, spreader here. Make sure the pistons are out. Yeah, it looks like they're already pretty much all the way out anyway. Because they haven't been worn enough to even matter. And you know these will only go in there one direction, so... See, fit perfectly on the nut name up on the brake pads with the nut name on the caliper and they fit right in there I'll put the new pin in yeah definitely much longer wow that's a huge difference in length Now I can turn on both sides, so it'll not come off of there. Nah. I'm probably not even doing this right, but hey, never said I was an expert. You guys do know a better way to do this. I am all ears. Like I said, never claimed to be the best at any of this. I'm probably newer at this than a lot of you guys are. All right, I think that's going to keep them in place should not be coming loose I'm gonna put the bolts back in now I could probably take these gloves off should not need those anymore I'm not going to be touching the brake pads. Oh yeah, I can get these started back on there much easier. Gently make sure they don't cross thread. I'm not going to tighten them all the way, I'm just going to kind of get them a lot closer. That way we can adjust it. It's usually pretty simple to do. All right, that should be just about good. That way they're still a little loose. So then what we do, and then we pick up the tripod here. Of course, that's back brakes, this brake lever front brakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this lever down then I'm going to tighten these. 
So that way it should line it up for you. That's the easy way to do it. I'm going to hold that with this hand. Go ahead and start snugging these things on down. This one then we'll just test it make sure it free spins here see free spins doesn't appear to be any drag so we should be good well all that's left to do now is we'll just have to try it out and see how they do hello guys and gals well, we're right here all right, so after we change the pads, I, I thought about changing the trying the rotors too, but uh, well, that's going to be a job though. I have to make sure I got plenty of time because I have some rotors I could put on it. Uh, but it, first, I said, uh, oh well, it's just a little squeak. So I don't think I'm going to worry about it, honestly. I don't think it's worth the trouble. But we'll try it out here and uh, see how well it works now and uh, see what to do. Popo. Hopefully, uh, it'll get better on its own. Seems to still be squeaking so far, but like I said, I'm just gonna really not worry about it, honestly. It squeaks, it's just that squeak. It'll quit eventually. Just need to get some more miles on it. And I think that'll probably go away on its own. I did what I could. I changed the pads. and I mean, it's brand new. I looked at the rotors and stuff, and it looks fine. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I even like, took the wheel loose and put it back on. See, eh, maybe it just needs some, just some more time. Like I said uh, before, I know on my uh, the really good version one had a squeak kind of like that, and and after about a couple of hundred miles, it did finally quit doing it. So I'm um, hopefully this one here will to you. So far, my. Uh, power goat has been doing a lot better so I put those other pads on the back of it and hopefully it'll uh, stay that way you know and there's some deer what you doing deer Ooh, it looks like we're getting some Either rain or snow back there toward the mountains. Don't know where this truck's gonna go here. So, looks like he's gonna turn, so if he's gonna do that, I'm going this way. Kind of cold, the cool air coming under my helmet. <laughs> there we go. Woo. I don't like going that fast right now. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's squeaking a little, but. Not near as bad as my uh, power goat was, so 
I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I hopefully the sound's coming out okay. That was the other reason to make this because I'm uh, testing out running the uh, the wind reduction or the noise reduction in the mic itself instead of doing it in the post. So it didn't never work right with other mics, but we're gonna try it with the the DJA mic too, and we'll see how it does. So be a good test. And I guess if it don't come out good, then you probably won't ever see this video, so hopefully it comes out good. Yeah, just uh, been a not very good uh, week for weather. Yeah, it's, uh, it snowed again for like two or three days. You can't hardly tell it now because most of it already went away. But, um, yeah, it's still cold, though. Especially in the morning, it's been down to like 20 again, so, yeah. Makes it hard to ride my bike and scooter to work when it's that freaking cold. Ooh, my, my throat is like frozen right now. <laughs> and I think a lot of us is due with the humidity is really high because like I said, you can see it back toward the mountain where it's like uh, either snowing or raining. More deer. I think these brakes are just fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. At least uh, when I release this video, if anybody doesn't ever need to change the brakes, I don't have a guide on how to do it. It's really easy. The brake pads, rotors, uh, well, not so easy. Oops, <laughs> gently hit my horn. Alright, did my little loop here. I said, let's just do it to this test these brakes out. I did go ahead and take the oil off and put it back on and stuff and look to see how much trouble it'd be to change that rotor. And like I said, yeah, I have to take the lid off. I have to unhook it and uh, where the hall plug is, I have to take all the wires out of the hall plug and pull them out to get the motor off or to get the motor wire out and so I can take the whole thing off. So... I'm not going to bother doing that. Like I said, I think these brakes are going to be just fine. I just need a little more time. Not worth the trouble for a little squeak. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And check out my links down in the description below. Because uh, those definitely help out the channel if you see anything you might want down there and hopefully some of those will give you a discount of, and all of them will give me some kind of a commission or something so any of that helps i try to get things that are smaller in there too just accessories and some of those things are in there too Got a couple of vendors for that and uh yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, uh, comment, any of that stuff helps. Really appreciate you guys, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.